Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now today, guys, we are back on the Patreon server, and you might have noticed we are standing in the swamp. And that is because it is finally time, guys. We are gonna go ahead and start building our ocean base. This has been a long time coming, um, but I finally feel like we are in a good position to build a base out here in the water um, and then really start going after some of these ocean tames on this server because I really, really want to tame a Tuso. It has been so long since they fixed the taming and I'm just, I'm desperate for a Tuso, and so to get one, I do have to work my way up through a few of those water tames first, um, and I do have to have a place to keep it, and so I think I really like this area. It's pretty, pretty close to where uh, my other base is by the Green Obelisk, and so I don't think it's too hard to get out here and check on things, um, but I do want to have a nice base here because it's always important to have a good place to kind of come back to when you get off uh, from a water mountain. So what we're gonna do is build ourselves um, a little area here. Now I'm really excited about this. I've kind of been thinking about how I wanna do it. Um, and the idea here is that I wanna have a very swamp-like base, if that makes sense. And so my goal is actually to incorporate at least one tree here, possibly more, into the build. And so it's going to look maybe a little bit weird because it's going to have some holes in it, um, kind of like this. Yeah, so kind of like this, I want to build it up above the height of the tree and have the tree just hanging out in my base, kind of use the natural features. Um, I really like this tree. I may keep this one as well, even though they're not perfectly centered here. Um, there we go. Let's go ahead and see how this looks. All right. Uh, this one might be a little bit too far off to keep. I think that might be the case. Um, I'm kind of just snapping randomly around these trees at this point to see how many of them are going to fit well into my plan. I like this one. I think we'll keep this one, um, but we're probably going to do away with this guy because it doesn't look that good. Can we hit it? There we go. Cool. All right, so we'll fill that in. Um, so you kind of get the idea here. There's only going to be a couple of these mangrove trees that I actually keep. Um, this one, this one, maybe this one if it works out. But otherwise, um, they're all going to have to go. I will have to destroy them all. And I kind of want a pretty low-level stone and glass sort of build here. But I want it to look a little bit different than some of my other builds have looked in the past. And so that's going to be the real challenge for me is getting this to be the right size, the right space, and making sure that it... Um, turns out looking good because I want to put kind of a funky roof on it. I want to have a different kind of a shape to it. Maybe some separate rooms I think would be really cool. I've never tried anything like that before um, on Arc Mobile and so I'm really excited to play with this and kind of see where I can take it. All right let's go ahead and keep laying some foundations. All right so it is going to be a very large base as you can probably tell. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of space here that can be uh, used, and so I fully intend, I fully intend to use all of it. All right, uh, can I not place this because of this stone? I would bet it's because of this river rock. There we go. Yes, perfect. All right, so I might, I might keep this tree as well. That looks kind of cool, just have like three random trees um, hanging out in the base and then have maybe some stuff um, in between them or around them. I think that would look pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and break these guys. It's going to be kind of a long build here, so um, we're probably going to have to do this build in pieces, but I do want to get at least the floor laid out today and kind of give you guys a better idea of exactly what this is going to look like in the long run. 
I'm pretty lucky I haven't run into any Capros yet, because Capros could make this um, quite the annoying build to finish, but hopefully they don't get too much in the way here. All right, and then I'm pretty sure I can't actually snap anything here. So I think I'm gonna leave this open. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that open. Um, and that way I'll be able to run up here and do things as needed. Cool, okay. Ah. It's a little hard to see where I'm trying to place these. Okay, and then I want to extend further out this way if possible. Um, let me kind of double check everything here. All right, so far so good. How's that looking? Okay, not bad, not bad. So basically from here, um, I don't wanna go any further into the swamp. I kinda wanna build out towards the ocean. So all of these trees and all of these trees are definitely going to uh, be in my way. So let's go ahead and start breaking those. It's gonna be a lot of me hitting these trees. Luckily my pick takes them down pretty quick. Um, and I could use the extra thatch, so who knows? Might be useful. I might need some more foundations, so that would actually be kind of great. All right. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Um, fill in that hole. And I need more, more of these things. Yes. So it did take me quite a while to um, drag all this stuff over. Um, I did use my Quetzal to kind of haul it all over and then brought the Griffin out today just so that um, it would be quick for trips if I needed to go and get extra materials. That wouldn't take too terribly long because that can be a rate limiting step when I'm building, um, especially since there's always something I need that I've forgotten to get. All right, we're gonna destroy these as well. They're in the way. Beautiful. Okay, so far so good. This is going to get deep um, in a couple foundations here. And so what I do wanna do is basically have this be sort of my front porch area. Um, so have like a porch this way and a porch this way that have stone steps leading down into the water so that it's really easy to get any of the things that I need. Um, so I'm gonna keep building out until I can't snap anymore. How far can I go? There. Okay, so this one is gonna get picked up um, and it's gonna turn into a place for my stone steps. That's the idea. So I'm never gonna go further than that. As long as I can still snap one on the other side, I should be okay to snap my stone steps down. That's okay. Whoop. Otherwise I'll have to take it back a row, which I really don't wanna do. Oh no, okay. Um, that's a little funky. I don't like that, okay. Maybe? Otherwise it won't be far enough out. What I might do is um, rail this off and have it be something else. That could be, that could be an option. Um, or I could just not build the walls up that high. We'll see how it looks with the steps. I'm really gonna build this one ground up because I really want to kind of see how it's going to all look um, as I go. And I'm gonna try to get more and more creative as I build up, basically. So um, I have an idea of what I want the foundation to look like, but as far as building beyond that, um, yeah, I wanna, I wanna play with it and I wanna have fun with it. And I really think that there's a lot I could do here. I kinda like this uh, random tree up here as well. These ones are going to probably go, maybe I'll keep this one. I'll keep one. Let's go hit this guy. And this guy. All right, and then we should be able to build on either side of you. Yes. So we're gonna have just a few of these random trees. It's more than a few, um, but I'm pretty happy with it overall. Let's go ahead and pull this out again. Oh my gosh, the struggle. Cool. Beautiful. All right, so that's gonna be good. And then again, I'm gonna do this thing out here where I build this out um, until I can't snap another foundation. Yep, that's exactly where I thought it was gonna be. Um, 
Ooh, actually, I kind of want to pick this one up, too. It'll be a little weird. I might make, like, short porches. We'll see how this works, because I'm going to run out of room um, over here on this corner. It's going to, like, dip down into nothing. So I might do kind of a weird corner on this side of it. We'll see how that goes. I should be able to fill in most of it. Um, most of it. So maybe I'll just make it like a separate room. That could be a thing. Uh, now, unfortunately, I am, in fact, out of foundations right now. Um, so I'm going to go have to craft up uh, a few more. And then I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to continue laying this out. And maybe even hopefully get started on the porch area and then starting to add in some walls. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, guys, so we're back. Uh, um, it's been a little bit of time here, but we should be all right. I'm actually uh, pretty happy with the amount of extra stuff that I brought over from the other bases. Um, I have done quite a bit of building, or at least some of my tribe mates have in other areas. So we do have a lot of spare building materials, luckily. Um, I didn't actually have to craft anything. I just hauled a lot of stuff over. Um, all right, so here we've got this going. Yes, okay. So that's kind of the limit of where I can go there. It's just a matter of how much um, how much I can go out here. That seems to be it. Okay. So, yeah, I'm actually it's kind of it's kind of a weird area, but I don't know. I think I can live with it. I think I can live with it. Hopefully this is okay. It does kind of bother me a little bit. Um, but uh, the devs are bringing in some rounded walls soon. Um, they've kind of teased that on Twitter, these like rounded wall things. And so maybe at some point we'll be able to fill this in with rounded walls instead of these square walls, which would make me very happy. Um, we'll kind of see if that's an option in the future. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and keep building out here and hopefully we have enough foundations this time to finish it off I believe we do and I only have a couple more trees that I have to break here perfect let's go ahead and break this I don't really want this one or this I don't want that one or this one or this one those can all go Beautiful. All right, so we'll have a good set of trees kind of inside. It's going to be a little bit chaotic of a base, but I really like the idea of this. I'm hoping it turns out as good as I think um, some builders could make this, and hopefully I'll be able to manage. Not bad. So this is a huge foundation. Um, this is probably almost... Yeah, it's very nearly 150 foundations, um, this particular base. So it's it's a decent size for a solo player or a mostly solo player. So let's go ahead and grab... We'll go ahead and put these foundations away. Now, the next thing I kind of want to figure out um, is the placement of these. So I'm actually... That's not at all what I wanted to do. Oh my gosh. This is the worst. It's bad. I can't carry all this stuff. I just wanted the gates, and that was like the one thing I didn't get. Um, here. Perfect. So, I like these uh, stone dinosaur gates, as people who have seen me build know. Um, one of my favorite things to do on the game is actually to set up these gates um, as windows. They kind of act as window frames, and then you can fill them in with greenhouse windows. And they look really, really good. Now, the problem is, is that I use those so much that a lot of my buildings start to look very similar. And so I don't want to use them too much on this one, but I do still want to have a couple of windows because a swamp castle that is, like, dark is just no good for anybody. Um, I did bring over more stone steps as well. I have tons of these, but um, I think I want to get these down first and then play with where the gates are going to go. Hopefully this works out as well as I think it would. I really just wanted like a good ramp down um, into the water and I have no idea why that place there. That made no sense. 
Can I please put that away so I can pick this up? Thank you. All right. <laughs> Snap properly. Beautiful. Yes. No. No. Please. Game. There. Nice. Okay. So this is, uh, this is exactly what I wanted. It's just a nice step down. Um, and then suddenly you're in the ocean. I'll probably have, like, a Moza hanging out here. Not really in a pen, um, but I'll leave him on neutral, so he'll be fine. Um, but that way I can get in and out and to the creatures easily without it being too much of a pain. And I want to do a similar thing over here, where I also have stone steps, um, kind of leading down into this little area over here where I might actually put... Oh, that was going to snap. It was going to do it. Beautiful. Oh, I didn't think that was actually going to work. It's it's so close. It's floating a little, but you can barely tell. Awesome. So, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted was a ramp down into this area where I might actually build a water pen to hold some creatures because there's a little bit of space here. Um, and so I could, I could technically build a nice little water pen here for some of the smaller water dinos, which I'm really hoping will work out. Um, here we go. Cool. So then the biggest thing is making sure that everything is placed where I want it to go. So in this case, I think what I might do is I want at least one foundation of porch. Um, maybe two, although that's going to be hard with this tree. So maybe I'll go t one on this side. And I kind of like the idea of having it be there. So there would be like a window here um, with an actual door at some point. And uh, yeah, this might be like the base area, um, I'm thinking, or possibly I could do dino storage. I am going to need a place to keep my baryonyx and um, other water land mounts like spinos. I'm not sure I can get spinos through these gates, actually. I don't remember. I don't remember if spinos fit through these gates. I kind of want to keep a spino out here because they're really, really good for the swamp. Um, but I'm not sure it's going to fit, actually. All right. Well, that's all right. So I have one in on that side. Let's go ahead and put this one in on this side. And then what I could do is put a gate right in the middle. And that would actually give me a really good point for building off of. Because I'd have windows on either side and then a giant dino gate in. Um, which could work pretty well. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it is practical for getting creatures in and out. Um, I'll leave it for now and I can replace it with walls later if I absolutely hate it. Because that is a distinct possibility. Now on this side, I want it to be a little bit more relaxing. I want to have like an actual porch here. So I might actually leave two, maybe two of these. Enough to get like a table out here and some chairs. Something to make it look nice. Um, no, that's not where I wanted you. There we go. Okay, so something like that. And then similarly on this side like that. Only instead of having a gate in the middle for these guys, um, one because it's uneven and two because I don't think I'd like it. I'm going to have like an actual door coming out. Um, just a little human door that I can come out because I won't need to take anything in and out this side of the base probably other than myself. Cool. So, so far so good. I kind of like the way that that's shaping up. Um, but then this side is all going to be solid as is this side. So I am going to go ahead and put a few, just a few windows here to kind of break it up and make it look a little bit less dark, hopefully. I'll make the corners solid this time around. Um, oh, here we go. Eh, no. Please, game. I know you can do it. Is that the right height? Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Um, Alright, so that's there. And then I just need one on this side. Which is going to be here. Cool. So kind of each wall will have two windows. 
mostly in the corners to let a lot of light in, and then I'll probably have some sort of skylights over these trees. Um, maybe not an actual, like, not a full greenhouse ceiling, but definitely over each one of these trees, um, I kind of want to have a little skylight so it looks really cool like they're growing in the middle of my base. That's kind of the idea. I might even rail these off with railings or something to, to make it a little bit safer than me just stepping into them. I'm not sure. Um, there's a lot of like little pieces to this base that I'm still kind of deciding on as I build. All right, let's go ahead and put this stuff back. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull out some of these walls so you can kind of see where it's headed. Um, I'm definitely going to pull out one of these. Um, yeah, that, and then, oh, I forgot to make gates, of course. I always forget to make something. I'll fill in that gate later, um, so I'll worry about this stuff for now. And it'll be good. I think it's going to come along really well. So this center one, as I said, is going to have an actual gate that, like, the baryonyx is going to fit through, because there's a baryonyx right over there. <laughs> it's fitting. I am doing the right thing here. <laughs> All right, um, yes, okay, no, come here. I hope that berry doesn't like aggro on me because these greenhouse walls, they are pretty weak. I'm not too worried about it once the whole base is established. Like they're not too hard to keep creatures away from, um, but I, I am a little worried about these getting damaged in the meantime. So let's go ahead and just start filling in all of these little pieces. All right, I need a few more. I need a lot more. Let's grab a few more of these. As many as I can carry without being obnoxious. Alright. Fill in all of our windows, and then from there we can start filling in walls and uh, thinking about the design of the rest of the build. So, as I said, it's going to be a little bit funky. I really hope it looks okay. That's kind of the... The end goal here is to make this both a cool build, an unusual build, and to finally, finally have my swamp castle because I have been wanting to build in the swamp since I started Ark Mobile like almost an entire year ago, and I just haven't done it yet. So I'm really excited to have a swamp castle and to be over here building in this area and dealing with the swamp dangers on a daily basis is going to be really fun for me because I do love it. All right, so I need like three more. Eh. I think I made just enough of these. All right. Let's see where we're at here. Got that, got that. And then that one. Awesome, okay, so those are going to be our ground floor windows for this. Um, that's gonna be kind of where these things start. That berry is awfully close. What level are you, actually? Are you a good berry? No, you're terrible. Level 45. Nowhere near as good as my berry. Yeah, guys. So, um, yeah, this is already getting to be kind of a long episode, and this build is going to take absolute ages. So I think I'm going to call it mostly good for now. I'm actually going to go ahead and put this door down so people will know where my doors are going to go, even if they're not ready yet. Wait. That's backwards. No, that's backwards. I don't like that. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. Okay. So, yeah. Um, this is, uh, this is going to be it, guys. I'm, like, really, really excited about this. And I hope everything turns out um, sort of really, really well for this. And that it all looks really good. But yeah, let me know what you think of the build so far, guys. If you have specific ideas for how to arrange things or how to build things, uh, do let me know in the comments down below. But I think we're actually going to make this like a two or three part build because it is so large and it is going to take me quite some time to do on my own. So yeah, um, I think that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. We have a really good frame working here. So if you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, please do remember to hit that like button, guys, because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana. <laughs>